going on with your new love interest that's coming towards you? Okay. What can you describe Pisces new love interest, please? Can you describe Pisces new love interest? Thank you. This person is attractive. This queen of wands keep coming out. This person is a loner too. They could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a, her uh, not a hermit, a Virgo. This person has been in some form of manipulative situation that they just got themselves out of. This person is going to be very curious about you. I got more Sagittarius energy with the uh, Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Wands here. This is somebody that might have manifested you into their life. They might have been waiting for somebody like you. This can also be somebody from your past that ghosted you too. That you've been waiting on. That's what I get. But whatever this is, it's destined for this to be the restart or for this connection, this new connection to come towards you. Congratulations. You can afford the sign that they got somebody from the past. But something about this connection is faded. Sagittarius, Virgo, Leo, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Oh, yeah. This person not no uh, vulnerable person, though. Not instantaneously. As soon as you get into a connection with this person, they're not going to open up so easy to you. They might be looking at you this way, too. You know, they may be looking at you like you a hard nut to crack. You know, you a hard shell to break. Something like that. This person is very logical, though. Very logical. It's almost like they feel like they're being interviewed by you. They feel like they're being interviewed by you and they want to impress you. They want to impress you. Tell me more about this person. Okay, tell me more about Pisces love interest, please. Uh-oh, card fail. Okay. Mars. Okay. So this person could be an Aries. They're very competitive. They are a fighter. I don't think that they're violent per se. They can have a, a, a size of them. That will fuck some shit up. They are very courageous. They will go to war for what they want. This person has an extremely high sex drive. Extremely high. And they have a lot of willpower too. They're a conqueror. They don't like being told no either. Okay. What else can you tell me about this person? They could have a mean streak here, though. I do have anger here, so be on the lookout of that. I don't get them being violent towards you. They could be a Capricorn. They're very ambitious, very serious, very practical, very resourceful. They're a hard worker. They're very cautious, you know, very wise with their riches. I got air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the air element. They're going to be very communicative towards you. This person likes to travel. This person could have their name in a lot of people's mouth. People could be gossiping about y'all connection when y'all get together. You know, this person is very logic though. And they look at you as being that way. One of y'all is looking, is interviewing, is making the other person feel like they're being interviewed for a job, for a job or something. Something like that. Anything else? <laughs> That's funny. 
blood moon and the sun this could be a leo this person could be an entrepreneur they can have children be family oriented but they just want to be happy they're very creative they could have an ego and they are aware of it too this person has no problem expressing themselves and being honest with you. They are ready for a change in their life and they want to see what it would be like to be with you. They let go of whatever emotional baggage that they had in their past that causes some type of self-destruction. They get you got you expect the unexpected with this person, Pisces. This person is full of surprises. This person is very spiritual. You may find them wearing certain things. They can have tattoos and different tattoos that represent, you know, spiritual symbols or different deities or something like that. But overall, this person is, is pretty good. They're a pretty solid person. Their finances are solid. They're not going to be that generous with their stability in the beginning. But as they get to know you and trust you over time, there's nothing that they won't do for you. This person is very in tune with themselves. They're very in line with themselves. They accept the good and the bad about them. They're constantly making an effort to uh, cleanse and protect their energy. And they're very adventurous too. What's the advice for uh, Pisces love interest? What is the advice for Pisces love interest? Be brave and honest, trust in the unknown, exchange energy to create abundance. So don't be afraid to open up to this person. Don't let this person intimidate you because this person likes to run the show. You're going to have to stand your ground. Stand your ground. They don't find that attractive. They don't find that as you being, you know, uh, uh, full of drama. You got to really have balance with this person, Pisces. Because if you too damn soft, they're going to try to run over you. If you too damn hard, they're going to look at you as being confrontational and hard to get along with. So create healthy boundaries within the middle, you know. And see your seeds grow. You can meet this person as early as spring. And what y'all... And as y'all get to know each other, you can really develop something that's very, you know, long standing. So give it a chance. You won't be sorry. And I hope this helps. And I love you. And I'm gone. Good night. Bye.